and welcome back to another Chateau de Bruges video. We've been yet again really busy with all of our guests and renovation. We've also been really lucky to have another French student, Alban. Thank you to you, you were amazing and you were a very polite boy and I hope that one day we can have you back. Lastly, by the time you're watching this video we will have another student, Henry. You've got some big boots to fill so good luck but I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine. With our closing date for the BMB fast approaching, we're looking forward to getting on and tackling some of the other communal spaces in the chateau. We're going to be doing the dining room and the kitchen all before Christmas, so you're going to have loads of content to be able to watch. However, this week we've been mostly doing painting of woodwork and metal. Painting doesn't make the best content at the best of times. Rather than not post at all, we've decided to put together a smaller video to show you guys what we've been up to. We hope you enjoy the video regardless. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to be notified of our future videos. Oh, uh, no. that'll do. <laughs> future videos. Other than that, enjoy the video, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Right, we'll give them. Oh, got to be a bit lower. Right, we'll give them a couple of hours to dry, and we'll come back. We'll see if they need another coat. Uh, if they do, then we'll give them another coat. And if they don't, then they're ready to go back on the windows. Yeah. Hello. So it's Monday late morning. We are back in the salon. We've just said goodbye to our guests that we had last night, and therefore this morning as well. Um, and we've just done a little bit of spraying of the metalwork outside in the outbuildings. Um, we do also have one of our students here with us today, Albon, he, he's going to be helping with us. Um, but today's job, or this morning's job, is to do some painting of the woodwork and the metalwork around in the salon. So that includes the ceiling rows, um, the cornicing, or the... Um, uh, architrave if you're English um, and the, the radiators the pipes the windows so there's loads of woodwork to do uh, and loads of videoing for you guys as well so yeah we're gonna crack on and we'll see how much we can get done today it's safe to say Danielle did a pretty good job color matching the existing wood and metalwork color the paint went on slightly lighter but once it dried you wouldn't have really noticed the difference but having a fresh coat of paint has not only helped to make the room feel fresher, but has also provided the woodwork and metal with a really hard wearing layer to help protect it from lots of future use.
So me and Rachel were playing cards the other day and uh, she said, this reminds me of when we first met. All we needed was two hearts and a diamond. I said, yeah. Nowadays, all I want is a club and a spade. So it's midweek um, and we have now cut one layer on all of the woodwork in the salon. So today I'm hoping we're gonna get the second layer all done. Um, and then the salon is basically ready for the furniture. We've ordered new sofas, so they are on the way, so that'll be a nice surprise when they turn up. Um, but other than that, this room is very much done. We've got the metal furniture to hang, which may or may not be a job for today or tomorrow. So yeah, second layer, let's go. So Shu, what do you think of the renovation in the salon? I think it's a lot of more rubbish. It's a lot of more rubbish. Okay, so all of the painting now in the salon has been finished. Uh, everywhere has had two coats, so it's looking really nice and, and refreshed, uh, which is the Danielle, the term that Danielle wants to use. Um, we've got the woodwork back into the salon here. We're just getting ready to put it back up onto the windows. Metal work. What did I call it? Woodwork. We've got the metal work back in the salon. Um, we're just getting ready to put that back up on the windows. And, uh, and once that's up, we'll show you the finished salon. Yeah. Cut. Most of the treated metalwork went back into place without a hitch. One seemed to have grown a bit whilst it was in the workshop. A quick shave helped it to slide in, no worries. This may be an unpopular opinion, but I really love the contrast of the light silver of the new screws against the dark iron of the window furniture. Now we're fully aware that the salon is now in desperate need of some furnishings. We plan to hang some of Uncle Jeffrey's artwork, have a mirror or two and a large rug in the room, as well as having six new chairs delivered in time for next week's video, hopefully. So we will keep you updated with the continued improvements made in the salon. But for now, the old rug and chairs make their way back into the salon so we can enjoy evenings around the fire. Okay, so as we said on last week's video, we are working in various spaces in the chateau um, towards the Christmas period. So the next space that we are um, starting to plan, not actually starting yet, but starting to plan are the hallways. Um, now we've got one roll of wallpaper here that we're just going to try, just going to see how it looks in the light, how it looks in the um, corridors when, with the shady parts and the sunlight coming through. So this is just a bit of a test, 
um, and we're going to see if we like it or not. So here we go. Okay, so the wallpaper is up. Um, this is only for one wall of the corridors. So as you go through the doors into each corridor, this will be the first wall that you see. Um, now that we've got it up, we're not 100% sure yet and we've still got to ask the boss. Um, things we're unsure of is the colour. I, I wasn't really looking for a grey, Jake was. Um, so I think it's probably a bit more grey than I had hoped. Um, we've also put it up against the window so when the natural light comes in we can see what it really looks like and we've also got a complementary wallpaper to go on the opposite wall um, just to lighten it up and hopefully feel a little bit less busy because again one of our concerns is there's a bit too much going on but we're going to see how it is over the next couple of days, see if we're warm to it or not um, and then maybe start the wallpaper hunt again. What do we want to know, don't we, from okay. our subscribers? We'd also like to know, what do you guys think about this? Do you think it's worth keeping? Do you think we've got the right colour, the right wallpaper? Um, or do you think we need to try again? We don't know. Me and Archie have had an idea this week and we'd like you to get more involved in our blogs. So, we'd like you to record yourself for our intros telling people to like, subscribe and ring the not notification bell and you can send them to us via WhatsApp with the number down below. We look forward to seeing them. So this is the first real test for the camera outside in some windy conditions so I'm really not sure how this audio is going to come out and if it's going to be usable at all but I guess if you're seeing this it's, it's alright. Um, as you can tell we are outside, we are by the front entrance, we have a rather large pile of sticks and twigs and logs um, that is one of our winter jobs to shred up and, and get rid of and tidy up ready for the next season. Now if you're wondering why we're not busy in the chateau with the many rooms that we've got left to do and the hallways and the dining room and the kitchen, loads of things that we would like to do, it's because we still have guests up until this Sunday, which means we can't really do anything in communal areas until we don't have any more guests. Um, as soon as Sunday hits, we'll, uh, we'll be uh, starting these jobs in the communal areas, making sure that those spaces are ready for next summer. Until then, as you can see behind me, it's a bit chaotic, um, but we're gonna tr shred as many of these branches and, and twigs and stuff as we can uh, to get rid of them. Wish us luck. Some of the bigger branches have been piled up ready to be cut down to size with the bigger chainsaw. Now this should provide us with a bit more firewood for a year or two from now. Once again, Apologies it's a shorter video this week, but we hope you've enjoyed it regardless. Have a good week, and we'll see you next week for the next video.